<laughs> if you're buying rockets, you need to buy them from Mighty High's shop in okay. the red zone of the underground mall. If you don't know where that is, I'll show you. He's got good prices. His flight duration three rockets, you can get five stacks for like a couple diamonds or something and at the other Ooh. place the flight duration three are a stack a diamond and they're not ethically a stack sourced. Of, wait oh 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 yeah and they're not ethically I sourced see. i'm going to take you there to, to show you all of these things but the flower farm area is actually going to be right over here if you'll follow me on sunday which is tomorrow mighty and i are going to be live streaming removing most of this hill and building the flower farm so Hello everyone. Um, I am here right now with this guy. Yeah, yeah. The Neon Ghost, and uh, we are going to do the uh, the Wheel of Challenges. Welcome to the Wheel of Challenges. Just simply press the button and await your challenge. All challenges, unless otherwise stated, should be completed in your next episode. Once you have pressed the button, you have entered a binding contract with the devil. You must complete your challenge or expire. Feel free to leave a tip or a challenge suggestion. Enjoy. It's by Forge. And then there is a third page. If you don't want to do a challenge, then you must burn a block of diamond and place the challenge in the suggestion box. Enjoy. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. What's it doing? Please don't be a bad challenge. Oh my gosh. I might have to burn a diamond block. Oh, you got it. What, what is did. it? Gift everyone on the server. Oh, that was so... I'm good. I'm fine with that. All right. All right. I'm not doing it. Oh, there it is. Maybe I clicked the wrong <clears> one. <throat> okay, here we go. Come on. Okay. What did you get? Dig 10,000 blocks next bid. <laughs> 10,000 blocks. Oh, I'm so All right. sorry. That's a lot. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Unorthoblox. So, as you can see behind me, Mighty has been hard at work getting our Did You Expire stuff ready. All of these are perfect enchantments and everything and inside of the little uh, chest there is also all of the jewels we might need in case we accidentally expire so that was very sweet of him i noticed that actually just barely i was coming to bring him some diamonds from the shops but yeah so for today i think that we have done enough getting used to the server and gathering resources, I think it's time for us to start work on our base. But first, let's build the cactus farm because we really need it so that we can get green dye. So this is the finished design of the cactus farm. I found a tutorial by somebody named Avomance. I hope I pronounced that correctly, but I will link it down below. It was really easy to make. It was expensive with iron. Aside from that though, it's very efficient. And I think that he had it set up like this. There's these two rows right here, and then there was four layers of it. I expanded it out that way instead. So it's a really, really good tutorial. I definitely suggest looking it up if you would like a lossless cactus farm that will still work in 1.16. I woke up this morning and Mighty had let me know that he put the sorting system in and I did a little bit of changes to it. And now that I can see it in person, I think I can figure out how to make one of these myself. It's actually quite simple, which is kind of funny because I always thought they were really difficult to make. And then he also put in the two high flower farm. We just use this one and this one. 
but aside from that, this area for dyes is pretty much completely done. So let's move on to the next thing that we'd like to do for this episode. And that is to expand on this greenhouse and make a tree farm and maybe work with bees. And we're gonna be going this way. Quick update, I am now flattening out this mountain right here. It was much higher before. And it's gonna be on level with this greenhouse so that we can build the tree farms in the area. And it's gonna be connected via a bridge or it might be covered, but we'll see. So I'm gonna get this area finished flattening out and uh, I'll be back with you. I kind of made this little covered walkway area and it leads into here and I actually need to I think I'm gonna add some doors here instead and it looks pretty good I'm actually pretty happy with how this turned out it's it's the simple things you know that make you happy so I have this little area right here and this is gonna be the little B area and then you know the rest of this up here is going to be the other greenhouse so I think I'm gonna do it in a third person time lapse. By the way, I have these new shaders on right now and they're absolutely gorgeous. They're called Builders Quality of Life Shaders and I have no clue who made them, but I'm gonna provide a link down below so that you guys can also check these out because they are incredible. So this is a creative version of the world that we are playing on on Unorthoblox. Obviously, I do not have this bit done um, but I'm gonna use this for testing purposes and this is a new thing for me I've actually never done that before So this will be the very first building that I plan out ahead of time before actually building it But this is what I'm trying to go for when it comes to this other piece to the greenhouse Is I want there to be like a courtyard here where we can do bee stuff and then you come in through here and then it opens up and it's just this huge open space for trees and stuff like that. So this is the design that I'm going for, for the building, and it's not finished on the other sides. It's only finished on the front side, just to kind of get an idea of what I'm gonna build here. And I'm kind of liking how it turns out. It's a little bit boxy. This is definitely more of an Edwardian style than Victorian. So steampunk, it's more like, maybe more, a little bit more of like a, early 1900s very late 1890s type build but i'm really liking how it looks i think it's really cool and it definitely has a lot of promise so this is what we are going to be building This is how it is looking so far. We've got our little breeding pair of bees. So unfortunately, all of the bees that I had been breeding inside of that greenhouse disappeared. So we have been working on getting some more bees over here, but this is the addition. And I actually like this greenhouse a lot more than the original one. And you know why that is? 
I like it a lot more because I built this in a creative world first. I designed it and then I built it here and I think that that was a much better decision than building it from scratch without having an idea. So that's what we're gonna be doing from now on. Um, just the first of the front of the building is actually finished at the moment. The back and the sides are not finished and I can show you. But I'm gonna finish these in due time. I just need to take a little break from building this because it was quite a bit of work. I've been doing it pretty much all day. But yeah, I'm gonna get this bee sanctuary filled up with tons of bees and you know then we'll go on from there come here my darlings come here look at you look at all of you sweet little babies hello little bees hello yes mommy loves you mommy loves you very much good bees so i'm pretty happy with this building like i'm i'm really happy with this building i think it looks really good and i think that there's a lot of promise here we're going to dig this down deeper though. It's not going to be this um, short. I want it to be huge when you look on the inside. All right, you guys. So I'm going to continue digging away at this area until I feel like we've got a good enough space to work with. And I will be back with you once this whole area is fully dug out. All right, everybody. So a couple of days and a lot of things have happened since the last clip. We are now updated to 1.16 and we are all going to be doing another race. It's going to be kind of fun. We're going to try to get all the achievements. There's going to be a buy-in of a certain amount of diamonds. And I'm going to leave a little extra because I'm pretty wealthy right now on the server. And so the first person who gets all the achievements then wins all the diamonds. So yeah, let's um, get to the race. I'm just gonna scroll through the pages and you can pause if you would like to read it. Welcome everybody to the new nether advancement race because the nether is new and the advancements are new too so we're gonna have a race um we might have some people join a little bit later we might have some people leave early life happens um but the idea is that you go out into the nether and you get an advancement and when you've gotten the advancement you have to knock the button off the wall that represents that advancement that is within your row go Yay! We're going into the nether. Bassam Delta is the worst place you can possibly be in. Especially for my on right now. Well, I've never seen a Basalt Delta this big. It's time to blast off Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> oh. Well, um I'm gone. Excuse me, how <gasps> there it was. That's I found it. I figured lava. it out. Guy figured it out. I'm there. not in it after all. Am I the only one who's absolutely in love with the nether gold Ooh. or texture? Oh, it's hey, gorgeous. Man. I really like the gilded blackstone, too. You guys, I'm finding so right, much agent I... debris that it's ridiculous. I only have two oh apples for food. Eight or nine now, because I just found Come more. On. Dude, it's house. literally Feed so abundant food. on this level. This is how I found it all in my in my single player, too, actually. Lava guys is riding uh, another lava uh, guy. Oh, you found yeah, your baby that rider that's riding on mama. Yeah, but they're like the same size. Oh, well then I don't know. All right, I'm going um, to kill myself Apparently the most you can get is about 12 or 16. Yay, I died. But they might have changed that. There was a bug where you could get like 20 odd on them. Of them on <laughs> at once. 120 and negative 143. Thank you, sir. Yep. Okay, is there anything... Right. <laughs> so, I see a birch log arrow pointing down, but I don't see anything near it, except a tunnel. Oh, come on. Sh bloody hit it. Okay, so now we go to the this right here and make some netherite ingots. Need food. I'm just going to accept the fact that my stuff is gone. Nope. And go to the smithing table. The first stage of healing yes. is acceptance. I got four <laughs> us. Four <laughs> it's gonna, Ooh, it's gonna make yes. what I'm doing no. uh, later so much more difficult. Good job. 
Yeah, I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. Mm hmm. I'm so excited and happy now. I have all the netherite that I need. Also, I'm evil Shelly. But there's one more thing we need to do before we can close this episode. Present number one to a mighty beard. Present number two to a neon ghost. Present number three And another one. And another one. And another one. And another one. And one more. Now, yeah, that's not everybody on the server, you guys, but honestly, I asked people what they needed, and those are the ones who responded to me, so those are the ones who got the gift. So now we are done with the Wheel of Challenges. But that's going to be it for me today, you guys. I hope you really enjoyed this episode. I certainly enjoyed making it myself. And be sure to leave a like if you liked this video. And be sure to subscribe if you like me so that you are notified every time I post a new video. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I'm going to have a great weekend myself. And I will see you next week. Bye.